Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. Today we are looking at a game that I played in my Yamato that shows the difference between a team that can coordinate and a team that doesn't. So we are in a 5v5 center control on cage and if you look at the if you look at the initial team list we are somewhat on a, at a disadvantage. Uh, we are we have an incomparable which has a lot of damage potential, but it's relatively squishy. Uh, myself in the Yamato, obviously, we do have an Izumo, which is always unfortunate. Uh, we do have a Colbert, which is a very good HE spammer, but um, has again isn't particularly well well armored. And uh, we have a Shimakaze, whereas the enemy team has Minnesota, Freddy, so Minnesota good for long-range gunnery, a Freddy good for pushing, they have a Smolensk, which is always trouble, they have a San Martin, which is a hard counter against Chima and Colbert, and they have an Atelier Regolo, which is, uh, again, something that Chima probably doesn't want to get into a fight with, but uh, a fast uh, a fast destroyer with relatively long-range torpedoes and uh, good short-range semi armor piercing shells. So. On center control, initially you would say uh, we are a bit of we are at a bit of a disadvantage. So let's go. And uh, the the two bots is obviously the bot carrier. Uh, this is important. So keep an eye on the Shimakaze. Actually, it's a bot carrier, so the bot carrier is not going to scout. So the Shimakaze has one distinct advantage. The Shimakaze can outspot anything in this game. Uh, so that's the bot Shima, and it's not the one I'm talking about, it's the one on the other side of the map. So keep an eye on him. So first thing I'm doing in the Yamato, because nobody here can tank. We've got an Izumo, which can't. We've got an Incomparable, which very much not can't. So um, my job is going to be a uh, damage sponge and to sit uh, effectively in the, uh, in the ledge inside the capture circle and soak up enemy fire. Now look at the friendly Shimakaze, uh, who is who is going uh, sort of aggressively into the capture circle on a, on the right flank scout because he doesn't have to fear anything because he can outspot anything on the enemy team, and he, he does have a smoke screen if he needs it to get out of dodge. So we haven't spotted anything yet. Uh, Shimakaze is oh there's the Freddy. Shimakaze is going for the capture circle, which is the right thing to do while scouting the right flank. Uh, precise aim up and shots out at the Freddy. There's the enemy Regolo where he should be. There's the bot Yugomo. So Shima has found the bot Yugomo, which means he is probably spotted. But there is the enemy Smolensk. So Shima smokes up because Smolensk and has already dropped torpedoes. Now. Smolensk should at the very least have seen the Shima smoke, so uh, he should be seeing these torpedoes coming in. Well, I've got a couple shots out, but Smolensk is so focused, well, Smolensk for once is extremely aggressive there and is so focused that he's just been taken out by the Shimakaze. While the San Martin is rolling up the other flank, which is which is the right thing to do. So I'm going to stop here because San Martin has torpedoes and there's also the Regolo out there. So like I said, um, I'm just here to... I'm just here to, to tank some damage off, if I can, and to maintain the capture circle. So let's get some shots off into the San Martin. Uh, the enemy team is now pushing into the capture circle, but the Freddy is taking fire and is already is already getting uh, has already lost a decent amount of hit points. So uh, he's not he's not uh, he's not playing in in secondary range, whereas the Minnesota, which should have by all means with his long reload been playing from the rear. Uh, seems to be rushing and yoloing in. So I've I've pushed San Martin back, but now the Minnesota is coming in to yolo the Yamato, and that is not a wise choice because while the Minnesota is not a bad ship, um, <laughs> I, I have a team still. So the San Martin got got bored, and um, is is completely is completely rushing off instead of uh, coordinating with the rest of the team because the Minnesota has just realized that he's out of friends and look what the Shimakaze on our team is doing he is coordinating uh, on on target selection which is exactly what we're doing so I know that he's got the torpedoes away up oh, there's the Regolo as well so uh, that said I'm just gonna I'm just gonna finish off the Minnesota because he has absolutely no chance sailing broadside on on a Yamato uh, which is that ship down, which leaves the Regolo. Now the Regolo is not something the Shimakaze can take on, so I'm just backing off here at this point because the Regolo might have torpedoes away, and I'm drawing some fire from him because I can take it, whereas my Shima can't. Now Shima is out of torpedoes, and he doesn't want to get into a gunfight with the Regolo. Uh, the Friedrich der Große has lost even more health, so shots out at the Freddy. Shima calls out the calls out the Regolo as a target, and I agree with that. 
But uh, the San Martin is uh, sailing around the other side, and we have a cold bear on the other flank, which can take care of that Regolo if he needs to. So Regolo is sailing, yeah, and he has. Because <laughs> uh, Colbert's got a scary rate of fire. So I got some shots out at the San Martin at the other end, and then I'm going to head forwards again back into the capture circle. Because that San Martin is now... Well, he, he would have been extremely useful to counter a Shima, or to focus fire on myself, or to counter the Colbert. And instead, he's trying to sink the Izumo. Now, the Izumo is a tempting target, but he has completely removed himself from his team at this point which has, uh, let's be honest, has at this point completely collapsed. So it's just the, the cruiser and the Freddy left and, and the bot carrier. And Shimakaze is just about to finish off the Friedrich der Große over there. Uh, which means, yeah, uh, while we are map mopping up the rest, uh, we've only lost our bot destroyer so far. And uh, the main reason for that is positioning and coordination. I've been positioning in the center, I've been soaking up the damage. You see our incomparables, barely a scratch on that thing. Uh, the the Colbert has, has survived, and the Shimakaze, after the initial brilliant flank run, and taking down that unsuspecting Smolensk, <laughs> and getting the double kill with the Yugomo as well, with the bot, um, has uh, has then, I don't know, been pretty much just running wild, and, uh, and I think... Uh, uh, yeah, uh, he, he's 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 taken out he's taken out the um, he's taken out the San Martin as well with some well placed torpedoes in the meantime while I wasn't paying attention. So uh, it's it's those things it's those little things right uh, that decide a battle. This could have gone completely the other way if the enemy team had played to their roles. Uh, it, if the Smolensk had paid attention and you know he knows that there's a Shimakaze in there, and if he's spotted and he doesn't know who it is, it's a Shimakaze. If the Minnesota hadn't yoloed into the capture circle rather than playing range, whereas the Freddy, instead of sitting broadside at range, should have been the one soaking up some damage and eventually leading a push here, and the San Martin should have had a flanking position on the other side and focusing on finish off targets of opportunity, like the Colbert, like the Shimakaze. But instead, uh, they went there, everybody went, did their own thing, went their own way, and, um, you know, that's, the, uh, our team hasn't. So, that's it just goes to show and this is not to you know to to talk bad about the players themselves you know every, everybody makes mistakes everybody learns something but i think that's what i'm trying to say uh, figuring out what it is that you need to do with your ship in your position right now and doing it with a team is extremely powerful compared to if everybody just does their own thing and and finds their own targets and the very simple things you can do is Focus your targets, communicate with your team, uh, pick low health targets saying uh, finish that one off or uh, spot threats that need to be eliminated like a, like a Smolensk, like a Shimakaze and saying these are dangerous ships if left alive, focus these as soon as you spot them. These sort of communications and this sort of team play can make all the difference. Anyway, that's it for, that's it for me today. Thanks everybody and I will see you next time. Bye bye.